Do I wish we were going to win the election? Of course. Of course I do. But that's not going to happen. Woohoo! Congratulations, Canada. Congratulations, Ontario. Everything is changing. Catherine Wynne is out. And it's today's version of Lee TV for June the 8th, 2018. This victory belongs to the people. And tonight, the people of Ontario have spoken. And tonight, we have sent a clear message to the world. Ontario is open for business. You had to know that voting day was going to be great for Doug Ford. As he's walking up to vote in the morning, look at what happens to this cameraman. Shades of his brother, and he even mentions it. Except the shoes on the other foot. He's going to continue working hard right up to the last minute. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that had to hurt. Hey, hey, you, you dropped something. That was a real Rob Ford one. <laughs> he said it. He said it. It was a real Rob Ford there. Sir, what do you think? Oh, in case you didn't know what he was talking about, it's this famous incident from not that long ago. There's people that are for it and people that are against it. That's why we're having it. Excuse me, guys. Oh, that's rough, yeah. All right, well, let's get back to uh, the modern day speech. Together we made history. We have taken back Ontario. We have delivered a government that is for the people. A government that will respect your hard-earned tax dollars. And my friends, the party with the taxpayers' money is over. It's done. But the work has just begun. Our team will get to work immediately. We will deliver on our plan for the people. We, we will bring accountability, transparency, and integrity to the taxpayers of Ontario. We will reduce your taxes, reduce your gas prices, and keep more money in your pocket. But most of all, I want to thank each of you. I thank you. I want to thank the people of Ontario. I owe everything to you. Your support, your energy, your belief in our cause. You are the ones who kept me going, who energized me at every single stop. And reminded me what's at stake, what we are fighting for. You reminded me to stay humbled and stay focused you are the reason we are here today. And, and those who didn't support us, I want you to know that I will work even harder to earn your confidence. I also need to acknowledge my opponents in this race to Kathleen Wynne and Henry Orvath. No, 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 guys. No, 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 no. You fought a, you fought a, you fought a hard, very hard campaign, and I'll tell you, Ontario is better for it. My friends, together in 88 short days, we achieved the impossible. We united our party, and united our province, and this is your victory. Tonight is your night. I thank you, and God bless each and every one of you. Thank you. Thank you. Is it just me, or is this anchor way less excited 
about Doug Ford than she is about the Green Party candidate. Watch this. He's never served as an MPP, but now he's going to be the Premier of the province. Now, there's one person looking to make history in Ontario politics tonight, and he is the leader of the Green Party. I'm going to throw it over to Camille Kermali, who is in Guelph at his party headquarters with where the candidate has arrived. Doug Ford, who has never been an MPP, becomes Premier, and that's supposed to be, oh, can we trust this guy? And the Green Party guy gets in, and that's history? There's no one in this room. Well, clearly there was a... The, Listen to this Liberal guy the majority try to explain what happened here. I think they want to change going into this election, and I think they, they made up their minds probably about a year, year and a half ago. Probably. Uh, and, and Mr. Ford, you know, he's not your typical politician. He's, you know, he's a populist. Uh, he was oh yeah, he cares about what uh, the people want. And fresh to, to maybe some folks outside of folks outside, outside folks, of folks. Outside folks, of Toronto. they're not from Toronto, um, so they're you know, you know those hicks out there. At the end of the day, it, as, as liberals, you know this is this is a, probably going to be a historically bad result for us tonight. Yeah, so you just got eliminated as a party. You've got to, only seven seats uh, for the first time in 161 years. Even years, uh, and see how we can reconnect. Uh, with the middle class of this province. I think what we're seeing in a lot of these results in suburban ridings across the province is we have lost the middle class. Okay, you can't relate to them. Pop reference here and say, Kendrick Lamar, uh, you should be listening to Humble. Sit down, be humble. Oh, because obviously, oh. I think that's what the province has said to the Liberals. Uh, I've had to put these on because people were cheering so loudly. They are so excited. And boy, did that happen okay. quickly. They were hoping she has got headphones on to prevent herself from hearing what Conservatives are saying. And they got that majority. I'm joined by MPP for Perry Sound Muskoka, Tony Clement. Thank you for being here, Tony. Great to be whoa, here. whoa. MPP. He's a member of quickly. Parliament, and his name is Tony Clement, did, um, not Tony Clement. It, it basically, blew the other parties out of the water. It would happen very yes. quickly, and don't forget, this is a political party that hasn't been in this position since 1999 general yeah, election. There's history. So they haven't had a successful result this century. If I can be very dramatic about it, so yeah, people I'll be more are dramatic. boisterous. They're excited. This, uh, this is how they wanted it to be. And let's face it, Doug Ford ran a very disciplined focused campaign that really right. kept on the message that he wanted to talk about a different Ontario for the taxpayers one where things were affordable and one where government was serving the people and I can tell you well and I know I love that my brother this Rob part of things is looking down from heaven and it's gonna give us a chance to look at him one more time at the end of this video Chills talking about him right now. I know Rob, he is ce celebrating with us tonight. We owe so much to Rob's legacy. <laughs> that legacy of service to the people. A legacy started by my father, Doug Ford Sr., and a legacy that will continue. Yes, I have smoked crack cocaine. Do I? Am I an addict? No. When have you have I tried it? Um, probably in one of my drunken stupors. Olivia Gondak, it, it says that I wanted to eat her pussy, Olivia Gondak. I've never said that in my life to her. I would never do that. I'm happily married. I've got more than enough to eat at home. Thank you very much. Obviously, I was extremely Extremely inebriated. Uh, so, it will be a bad. I am a sick motherfucker, dude. I know. I embarrassed everyone. I don't. I, 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 I don't know what to say. I sincerely, sincerely, sincerely apologize. You know, I just wish that Rob Ford the movie had have been made. I'm like, I'm watching the trailer for it. It's on YouTube. I'm like. It's too bad this never happened. But the thing we can really learn from Rob Ford is that when you disclose what the city is doing with the finances like he did, when you contract out the garbage to half the city so that you're saving money and that the union can't go on strike all the time, when you extend the rail like he did, uh, on and on, he did what he said he would do and the people were willing to forgive all kinds of buffoonery and even criminal activity because he was doing that. So, uh, a man of the people, nonetheless. 
Rob Ford. That's it for Lee TV. We'll talk to you later.